I'm going to show you how to make a mod application for Discord servers. So this process is very easy and it's actually completely free as well. So let's get started. Now the first step you want to take is going to forms.google.com and once you get here you'll actually see you're at the Google Forms homepage and this is what we're going to use to make our moderator application for the Discord server. So we want to make sure we're logged into our Google account and if we're not it's going to actually ask us to log in and you'll get to this page. Uh, you can either select a template but I usually like to start from a blank form so I can customize everything myself. So what you want to do is where it says untitled form type in a title so I'm just going to put mod application for server and what you can actually do in the description is put in a description or maybe even put in some specific rules that you have I'm just going to put in this is an application to become a moderator on my server and so now what you'll actually see is you'll be able to go ahead and start editing specific questions so for the first untitled question what I can do is actually change that to what is your discord username and I'll put a question mark and you can see actually it'll change it to short answer text specific uh, automatically so someone can actually go ahead and answer in a short answer instead of it being a multiple choice and what I want to do is I want to make this question required that way we know who the people are that are responding now what we can do is click the plus symbol right here and add in another question for example now let's say I want this question to be what is your IRL name and put a question mark and then it'll change that again to short answer text now let's say I want this to be required as well now let's add another question and we can put in to be a moderator on this server you must be over 13 years of age are you over 13 and then you can put in the options yes and then the option no and then finally we can make this required as well now you can actually also put in maybe you want someone you want to ask are you a moderator on any other servers if yes please put which server down below and what you can do is actually have this as let's keep this um, as a short answer text so just, people can just put in the short answer and we'll leave this one off just in case uh, we'll leave this one off of being required just in case someone isn't a moderator and that way they wouldn't have anything to put here um, and then let's finally put in why do you want to be a moderator on my server and then this can be a long answer text uh, in like a paragraph form and we can make this one required and then Finally, we will put in, let's say, how active are you on my server currently? Question mark. And then what we'll actually do is make this a linear scale. And we can have this as, um, let's say, one to five. Let's leave it at that. And we can put uh, one being not active at all. And then the five can be online 24-7. And we can make this question required. And then finally, let's say we just want to put in, as a moderator of my server, you agree to uphold all of Discord's. Do you agree? And we can put again, yes or no. And then we can make this required. Now you can actually go through, and, and these are just the sample questions that I want on my application. You can actually go through and change everything that you would like to put on your application. You can change all of the different question types and everything of that sort. And what you can actually do is also customize your form. So you can, you know, click up here and click customize theme and change like the colors around. Like let's say you want to make it blue or um, red or something of that sort. Um, I'm just going to, let's say I like this blue, so I'm going to make it that color. You can change the font. Uh, let's change it to playful and you can actually choose like a different header image so like an image at the top and everything of that sort now once everything looks like the way you want it to you can actually go ahead and start sharing this and to be able to do that what you want to actually do is click send on the top right and what you can actually do here is um, we can actually go to where it has this little paper clip 
and you'll see that it gives you a link. Um, we can usually click shorten URL and it'll give you a lot shorter of a link. And you can actually go ahead and just copy this link. And you can actually give this link to anyone that you want to be able to apply or you can even just post it in your server and people can start filling out the form to apply. Um, so I'm just gonna open a new tab and show you what the form looks like. As you can see, the form is actually right here. So let's fill out the application just so we see how it'll look like on our end when someone does fill it out. Uh, we can, let's say our uh, Discord username is test1001. Our IRL name is Joe Smith. Uh, to be a mod, you must be over 18. Yes. Um, are you a mod on any other servers? We're going to leave this blank. And as you can see, this doesn't have a star like the other questions do because we, we didn't make this one a required question. Um, why do you want to be a mod on my server? Because I am very passionate about helping this community. Um, how active are you? Let's just say four. And then are, as a moderator of my server, or as a moderator of my server, you agree to uphold all of Discord's terms of service. Do you agree? Yes. And we can click submit. And so let's say someone then went and submitted their application. On our end, we would actually see under the responses tab, um, we see it says one, so we can click that. And then we can go ahead and see this person's response. And then once we have a, a lot more responses, we can actually go through and look through each response and then be able to decide um, who we want to be the actual mod for our server. So I hope this video was helpful in allowing you to see just how easy it is to make a mod application for your Discord server. Now, if you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you with an answer. However, if you did enjoy this video and it did help you out, please leave a thumbs up down below and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one.